this is America. And the Civil War movie, baby. 2024 Civil War movie review. Woo! This is an A24 movie, y'all, by director Alex Garden Garland. And he did not come to play. I think this is my first time watching an A24 movie. I never heard of A24. And I didn't even know I needed to watch this movie until I was on Twitter um, yesterday. And I saw it trending. And I was like, Civil War? What's going on? Come to find out this movie was out. And, you know, had some really good reviews that I watched on YouTube. And I just told my husband, we have to see the movie. So we did. We went to the movie theater and bought a ticket and we went to see the movie. And we got there just in time for the movie to start. And baby, I felt like I was literally in the movie. Um, whew, The way they filmed that movie, I'm talking about cinematic excellence. And I recall seeing Kirsten Dunst in a lot of little cute little comedy movies, a lot of cute movies. But this one... Honey, I think she needs an Academy Award for it. This girl brought it. She brought the acting. And I'm looking at my notes, y'all, because I don't remember everybody's name. But I want to make sure that I, you know, do my highlights here. And I was trying to take notes when I was in the theater. But it is a much must-see. It is a must-see, especially the political climate that we are in today. Um, and I'm not going to say one thing bad about either side because everybody has their choice. However, there are a lot of, oh, there are a lot of layers to this movie. And they, and they didn't they didn't focus on any particular, um, you know, they, they didn't really give us a lot of information about why the Civil War started. We do know that it pretty much started from the president um, um, in the movie. And I think his name is, y'all correct me if I'm wrong. I just read it, James Hoffman. I think that's his name somebody correct me in the chat if i'm wrong but he um played uh this character the president in the movie and now you didn't see the president but like in the beginning and the end you didn't see him throughout um he had basically was serving a third term so he had become a dictator and so the states decided to break off into different regions now i remember i, I watched a lot of sci-fi I watch a lot of, I don't watch a lot of movies. I watch enough movies. I like movies that's going to make me think. So I do recall watching Hunger Games again the other day. And that was the first Hunger Games. And I remember the, the United States broken up into regions, um, 12 different, you know, region one, two, three. You know, this movie was giving me like a prequel to the Hunger Games. That's the way I felt. When I watched the movie, it was like a prequel to the Hunger Games. Um, so basically, the um, states have broke off, and I can't remember all the different break breakaways that they had. But the major one, which was shocking to me, was California and Texas had formed an alliance. They call it the Western um, Western Force, and they were like their own little militia that went against the United States military and government. And everybody else was kind of rogue throughout the movie. Um, they start the movie with the president trying to, um, you know, keep order and say everything is okay. Everything's going to be okay. And then whew, they were going around in different areas and all hell was breaking loose. Now, I like this movie because we were getting a perspective from the reporter's perspective. And I don't think a lot of people, you know, we are very critical of the media. I know I am. And part of the reason why I am is because I did go to school for broadcast journalism um years ago and i did not pursue um a career in broadcast journalism because i did not want to be held to corporate standards like you know certain movies certain things you can't report because you know uh, it may go against this particular company who's an advertiser just all kind of things the same stuff we have to deal with with youtube so anyway i know that media often gets a bad rap traditional mainstream media so the movie was coming from the lens of four photojournalists. It's really was six, but four main characters. Um, I wrote their names down. We have Kirsten Dunst. She was Lee Smith. You have Kaylee Spivey. Um, and y'all, I'm sorry, Stephen McKinney, who played Sammy. I'm looking at all my notes here. I'm probably going to miss somebody, so I do apologize. I wrote this very quickly. Wagner. 
Stephen McKinney. Okay. And I can't read my handwriting. But basically, these reporters were trying to get the story. They wanted to they wanted to be able to go up to DC. And DC was barricaded off, of course. You know, they started off, I want to say it's the movie, like I said, I came in right when the president was talking at the beginning of the scene. And I'm not gonna tell you like all the stuff about the movie. I'm not a, a professional reviewer. I'm just talking from a woman on the street perspective. But they pretty much were basically the gist of the story, which they are trying to get to DC and they were on the other, you know, they're about 500 miles away. And so they had to go through all these different towns. And considering that, you know, if there's some type of civil wars going on, you know that the things that's going to be attacked is the internet, electrical grid, um, people's houses, schools, public utilities, businesses, uh, if it's going to be interstates. So, um, just like in the movie Leave the World Behind uh, that Barack Obama, Michelle Obama produced, you had that scene where all of the, the cars were backed up when you're trying to get out of the, you know, trying to navigate through the states to get to where you're trying to be. And what they were just finding different landmines throughout, you know, or, or different barricades throughout, whether it was the cars in the way, or you may want to go to the gas station. They were still using, like, they were driving around this, um, looks like a suburban, a white suburban that had a press truck on it because they were all photographic journalists. It was um, a multicultural cast. Uh, you had Kristen Dunst, who had a lot of experiences. Like, she had probably been reporting for over 20 years. Then there was her colleague. Um, he looked like to be, he looked to be a Hispanic a man. Kristen Dunst, of course, is a um, white woman. And then you had another white woman representing, um, she was like 23, but she looked like she was 14, but she wanted to be like an aspiring photojournalist. So she had met Kirsten along the way, hitched a ride with them. And there was a black man named Sammy, um, I believe paid by Stephen McKinney. And he was an older black man, probably representing that Gen Z generation, Gen, sorry, representing the um, baby boomer generation. And so all of them was trying to go to get the story. They wanted the excitement to say they were the first one to catch, see the president pretty much, you know, whacked. Um, so that was, that was the storyline. They wanted to be able to interview him, you know, see why he did what he did, et cetera, et cetera. That's what I was picking up. And like I said, this is one of those movies you probably need to watch at least two or three times to really get all of it. Cause it's just a lot to take in. You know, it's kind of like you watch it and it's, there's an initial shock. Like, oh my goodness, like this could really happen. You know, when I was in there, it was the movie wasn't theater wasn't full. It probably was 25% full, if that. Um, because like I said, I don't recall seeing any advertisements. And I watch a lot of social media, so I'm not a big TV watcher, but even on, you know, I don't watch mainstream television anymore. But I haven't seen any TikToks, any YouTube videos is really pushing this thing. You know, I haven't seen it. So again, it was because people were, it was trending on um, the X platform, formerly known as Twitter, that I was able to see, you know, all of this. But it was really well worth the money. Um, seeing how everything unfolded, it didn't, it didn't give a lot of background information. So you pretty much had to fill in the blanks, but with the character development and the cinematography and having some background knowledge of what it could be, you were able to understand. I think everybody probably walked away with different carrots, different nuggets. Um, there was a scene. Oh, this was one of the most powerful scenes I ever seen on television in my life. I'm sorry, in a movie where they were saying, um, what type of American are you? And this is one of the most riveting scenes. I don't want to give it away. You have to see it just for that scene alone. It was a very whew, heartbreaking scene. Um, and just show it just showed how divided we are as a country. How what type of American are you? Woo! And they were talking about ethnicity and um, background where you're from. You're you know oh that that played a lot of woo, that played a lot. And that was you know just going through them going through the the states and coming across different people they were just you know different people were just like people turn into wild people you know where you know when you have a civil war you know everybody responds differently some people when they was going through a smaller town the smaller town people was like okay you know some not everybody but most people just walking around like nothing's happening they're not scared they're like we don't watch the news we're not worried about it 
which I can be like that. I'm going to be real because I'm one of those people. I'm not going to, I will be super stressed out watching the news. I cannot watch news 24 seven. It will drive me up the wall. It will drive me crazy. So I get it. I'm one of those people, you know, but I still keep connected to the, you know, to social media. A lot of times I get news before the news will report it. Um, and I'm usually just really in tune with what's going on e anyway. Um, because I feel like a lot of news is pop propaganda. But y'all, this, this, y'all, it, 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 it was one of the, as far as uh, acting, script, cinematography, directing, I'm going to give this movie a 10 out of 10. Now, again, this movie is hard to watch. It is hard to watch because this is something that really could happen. To me, it's like a real horror movie. And I do not like scary pictures. So I don't like monster scary and demonic pictures and nothing like that. I would never watch those. But this right here, it literally can happen. And I think it's a wake-up call for us because it shows you how people act when everything goes wrong. When there's no order, when there's no police, the, the president wanted to disband the FBI in this movie and all this. When things, you know, people make these broad statements because they're extreme right or extreme left. Things could go really haywire. We really have to think about, you know, yes, it was one thing. Yes, we had a civil war, you know, hundreds of years ago and we needed to. But we didn't have all these advances with technology like we have now. With The population wasn't as big. So when, if we did have a civil war, we would literally be pushing ourselves back to 300 years or at least 200 years. Um, cell phones won't be working. Um, <laughs> you may be able to charge it up. You might have the electric, you know, intermittently if you have some type of a generator or something like that. But we just, you know, these are things, it really makes you just think about, is it really that bad? Honestly, because, you know, I feel like some people are like planning for it, but we really have to be conscious of how we treat each other. And sometimes some people will be inhuman. If they didn't have police officers, if they didn't have law enforcement, just think about how crazy this world would be. And that's all I have to say, y'all. I just want to leave right there. I do highly recommend that you see uh, Civil War. It was It's one of the, it's the best movie I've seen this year. And I've seen only about four movies this year, but that was, this is my top movie. Um, and it's currently, today is, um, today is April, I'm getting my days mixed up. Bear with me. April 20th. 20th just Thursday was 18th and Friday yeah April 20th um Saturday April 20th <sighs> and it's election year so just you know watch out have a good day